Hey there. In India, both researchers and faculty members find themselves needing to publish their research work in reputable journals, whether it's for obtaining a research degree or securing promotions. Over the past few years, UGC made it mandatory to publish these researches in UGC care listed journals. But many researches have some questions like where one can access this care list and how does one navigate to the approved journals? Let's dive into that in today's video of career and research. To access the UGC care list, enter ugccare.unipune.ac.in. A home page will appear like this. This site does not provide you UGC care list openly. You have to log in for that. So click on login option. Enter the details like user ID, password and press on login button. If you are not having an account, then simply click on register here button at the bottom side. Then a form like this will appear. Enter your all the details and click on submit button. After the successful registration, click on login and then the interface like this will open. Here you can access the journals either through the top menu or, or the menus which are provided down here. We will be making a detailed video on what is the difference between the group 1 list and the group 2 list. But just for your information, group 1 list is the list of journals which have been curated by UGC by itself. And the group 2 list is the list of other index journals. You will also see list of clone journals on this website. So what exactly is the clone journals? Clone journals are nothing but fake journals which are published by fake publishers and which do not have any value in the academic profile. So you should not publish in such clone journals. So UGC want you to become aware about them and to get access to their list. Click on the list of clone journals UGC care group. Then on the left side, you can see print journals included into the UGC care list means they are the original journals. Their PDFs can be accessed and uh, other information is given here on the right side. The information about the clone journals that means which are not included in the UGC care list is given and it is highlighted with the yellow color. You can also find links to the fake journals or clone journals here. So you will not land into these fake publishers trap. So as you can take an example of this first journal that is Abru journal. So on the left side you can see the information about original journal and on the right side which is highlighted is the clone journal. Now let's get back to how to search the UGC care listed journal. So uh, we are on the home page again. Now you can see here UGC care list group one is shown. Click on this hyperlink UGC care list group one. So you will be redirected to this directory where all the journals are listed. There is an another option that is quick search, which is listed on the home page of UGC care list website itself. I am selecting here the title and then if I'm looking for journal from physics background, then I'm typing here physics and clicking on search option. Then as you can see different journals, total eight journals have been listed, which have the physics in their title. Here also the information about discontinued journals is given at the right side column. So as you can see, if it is indexed in the Scopus or if it is discontinued from a specific date. You can also see the detailed information about these journals and also visit their official websites by clicking on view button at the right hand side. For example, if I want to see this Romanian journal of biophysics, then at the right hand side, there is a view button can be seen click on that view button and you will be redirected to the another page where the information about the journal is given. So if I click on the title where the hyperlink is present, then it will redirect you to the original website of that journal. So coming back to the DC care list website. So similar to quick search option here also you will find these two fields where title or ISSN number or ISBN number you can choose from and you can enter the search value. So for example, here I'm again selecting a title and entering chemistry. So if I want to search journals from the chemistry, then uh, 
see total 14 journals have been filtered here now if you don't want to search with the specific title then UGC has also provided you some categories from which the journals are there in the UGC care list for example science social science art and arts and humanities so if you want to see which journals are there into the science stream for example 252 journals are there in their list and search which journals are discontinued which journals are there and publish in those journal only which are there into the UGC list so total 486 journals are there into the science stream but only 252 are there in the UGC care list others are either discontinued or indexed in the scopus that means they are into the list 2 so in this way if you only browse through the list 1 you are automatically getting an information about the research journals which are there into the list 2 as well Similar to the group 1 list of clone journals, there is a group 2 list of clone journals as well. So do check before publishing any article in these journals. So you might think that how often you have to check this list so that you will not publish your research in the wrong journal. So basically it is not updated on daily basis, it is updated on the quarterly basis. That is 1st of January, April, July and October. I hope this information is sufficient. But if you have questions or any information, then please comment down below and please share and subscribe.